Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the topic, when God corrects you. Okay, so if you're interested in learning more about what I'm going to be talking about or sharing in this video, or if you're currently being corrected by God and you think you're feeling condemned, okay, you're going to want to stick around to the end of this video. Okay, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So this one is okay. coming straight from the heart. Um, this is just like a chill video. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about the difference between um, condemnation and correction. Okay, right. So um, we're going to get straight into it. The, the foundation of the video is actually... Um, on Romans 8 and verse 1 and I'll quote the verse and I'll also share it on the screen somewhere All right, it says this in Romans 8 and by the way Romans is one of my favorite books ever Okay, one of my favorite Bible. Um, my favorite books in the Bible is the book of Romans. Okay, here's what it says Romans 8 verse 1 therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. Okay? Y'all don't forget that part. Please quote the whole verse, all right? There is not, no, there is not therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ who do not walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. Next verse that I want to share with you is found in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. And this is what it says. All scripture is inspired by God. And it's useful for teaching the truth, okay, rebuking error, correcting faults, giving instruction for right living, okay? I love another translation says training in righteousness. It says so that the person who serves God, okay, may be fully qualified and equipped to do every kind of good deed or good work. This is coming from the GNT translation, all right? So today's video is coming straight from the heart, okay? How many of you have been corrected by God before? I can put all my hands up because that has happened many times. And I want you to understand something. God corrects those he loves, okay? Point blank period. God corrects those he loves. If you're a child of God, hey, your correction, honey, or sir, or bro, or sis, is going to be a little rough on the rough side because God loves you and he, he has expectations. <laughs> Okay, he wants you to be equipped for every good work. So, um, when he's coming through with the with the rebukes, man, they're going to be a little rough. Okay, so but you're going to get through on the other side safely because God, his rebukes is not to condemn you; it is only to correct you so that you can be trained in righteousness and be equipped for every good work. Thank you, Lord. That came out way better than I thought it would. All right. So, when God corrects us, okay, it is because he is trying to train us to do what is right, okay? Condemnation is not from God. God does not condemn us. He corrects. The enemy condemns, okay? He's the accuser, and he wants you to be condemned, right? But guess what? Because of Christ Jesus, okay, because you are saved by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, it is not of your own works lest you should boast, okay? It is just by the work of God, okay? So... There is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. What a miracle, right? Who do not walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. So yes, there is going to be, if you continue to walk in the flesh, okay? Abusing the grace of God, honey, you're setting yourself up for eternal condemnation, all right? It's like you're crucifying the Christ again. And that's a no-no, all right? So if you are living in the kingdom of God and something, you know, in one walk or one, sorry, I shouldn't say one walk, in one area of your life or in your walk with Christ, you stumble here or there. God, out of his love for you, okay, will definitely correct you. I want to say that. God will correct you. And some of you, and you've been through this, some of you watch my channel, you've been through this, you have literally felt God's rebuke. You felt his rebuke and it almost feel like you're being condemned <laughs> right it almost feel like oh my god i don't deserve this oh my god la -di -da -di -da. no there's no condemnation for you who belong to christ okay 
there is correction. And God's corrections, guess what? They're fiery. Yeah, they're fiery because they, it has to be fiery, okay? Because he's, he's trying to burn things off you, okay? He's trying to burn bad behavior, bad thoughts, okay? So that you can be pure, refined, okay? Refined and ready for every good work. He has to do it because without that, you will not be trained or properly trained or ready for righteous living, all right? So recently, I was rebuked. Just going to be authentic. I was rebuked. All right, and uh, to be honest, I sat there in the secret place and go check out my video about the purpose of the secret place, y'all. This is where, okay, you'll be going, going to be going to be chiseled as well in the secret place. All right, so I was literally, you know, in the secret place, and the Lord was, you know, was going through me, was going through with me something that he was like upset at, or you know, he wanted, he was rigid with it. He was like, Ew. <laughs> okay, and it. I don't have to share what it is, but it's not like, I will not share what it is. Just know that even the littlest of things, God ain't playing. He ain't playing with you because he cares about you. He cares about your soul, okay? He cares, all right? And he wants you to get it right, whatever it is. Correcting your errors happens in the secret place when you have a real relationship with God. He ain't gonna let it slide. He's gonna say, come honey boo, let's talk about this. And he's going to be like, boom, 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 bam. And after he's finished, honey boo, you can cry for a minute. After the crying, you better get up and get pushing. All right? Because he ain't there to make you, to, to handicap you in, in your faith. He's actually there to propel you by cutting off what is not necessary. All right? And what is, what is going to hold you back and hinder you from living righteously. All right, so recently I sat in a secret place and the Lord literally rebuked me, y'all. I'm just going to be authentic here. Literally rebuked me. And I sat there, y'all, feeling so bad because who wants to be... I mean, the last thing you want to do is to get your Abba Father upset. Okay? That's the last thing you want to do. All right? And because he loves you so much, he's not going to allow anything big or little to slide. He's going to come through with it, especially if you're open to being corrected. All right, because some of us, we don't want to be corrected by God. But if you're a child of God, <laughs> you better be ready because he's a father and he's going to correct you. I don't care if you're 55 watching this or 89. Right. Okay, so I literally sat in a secret place and the Lord began to talk to me after he said to me, you know, what he, you know, through his word, y'all, open the Bible, open the Bible, open the Bible every day. When you live Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Especially if you want to live as a Christian and do your own thing, open the Bible. Open the Bible because I'm promising you that God ain't going to let it slide. Mm -mm, he's coming for you. He is coming, hunty, okay? He is coming to correct faults. Training. He's, going, he's coming to train you in righteousness. So, I want to say, I sat there in the secret place and the Lord said to me, do you understand what just happened? And I said, yes. He said, Chaname, I... Do not condemn. Y'all, I want to look up the word condemn. I tell you, it was wrong. I want to look up the word condemn to see if this, you know, like what does the word condemn mean, right? And it literally means to be cut off, to be like, you know, totally, you, you, like just discard, discarded, right? Like you're trash, just like, huh. So that's what condemn, may, con condemnation, is what condemnation means, right? So I was like, do you understand what I just did? And I was like, yes. And he said, okay, there's, you're not condemned. I'm not condemning you. I'm just not condoning certain things. All right? And I want you to understand that. You know, there is no condemnation. And he began to, you know, father me. Because he's a good father. I always say that on this channel. It's true. And those of you who can attest, y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay? For those of you who have not found out yet, mm -hmm, I am lying. Try Jesus, okay? Right, so, um, yeah, he, sa he literally said to me, do you understand what just happened? And I said, yeah. And he said, okay, I don't condemn you. I'm, this is not condemnation, right? Because he understood how I was feeling, y'all. He is so sweet, so amazing. He understood how I was feeling. He was like, I, this is not, I'm not condemning you. You're not condemned. You're just corrected, all right? I want you to learn from this experience because, yeah. I just need you to know that that's not a, yeah, you just need to do follow after.
after me. All right, so that was my own experiences in this fake walk that I'm on, all right? So for those of you who might have done something and you feel like condemned and you can't talk to God or God doesn't want to talk to you, it's not true. It's not true. He's not like the father. and can't be compared to earthly fathers because many of them have failed. Just go to him and know that he's not condemning you. He's also not condoning bad behavior. But there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ and everything that he says, all scripture. This is why I encourage you to get into the word. Because how are you going to know you're wrong? <laughs> Sometimes you're ignoring the Holy Spirit when he's telling you, no, 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 stop, stop, don't do that. And, you know, we push past the limits. And then if you're stubborn, okay, and you open up the word and blatantly the Lord is talking to you and you're like, eh, this is not talking to me. It's talking to you. It's talking to you. And you need to listen, all right? Because God... He cares about your soul and he wants to correct you so that you can be trained and be ready for every good work. All right, you guys, thank, thank you so much. And I hope that you are continuing to go to God with everything and just know that there is no condemnation to those who belong to Christ Jesus, okay? So if you're a Christian and you belong to Christ, you've been saved, God is not condemning you, okay? If you do something wrong, you mess up, it is important to repent. Every day you should live a repentant life because thoughts, words, and actions, every day you're doing them, every day you're living by them, and you have to be authentic and honest with yourself to just go before the Father and ask Him to examine you and see if there's anything that needs to be corrected, rebuked, um, and you know any training that you will need. Ask Him to forgive your sins every day, not just once a month every day okay because that's the way to live in the kingdom all right so yeah you guys i have a ton of videos remaining <sighs> thank you for watching this one and i'll catch you in my next videos that's it for, for now guys bye